So we know that Virgin Atlantic has ordered 12 Airbus A350-1000s way back in 2016 at the Farnborough Air Show. Now there were a lot of rumours spreading during that time as to whether they would actually go for the 1000 to replace their ageing 747s. There were also talks as to whether they would actually cancel the A380 order considering that they ordered 6 of them all the way back in the early 2000s. Now fast forward 2 years later to 2018 and we know that the A380 is out of the window. But the question I want to pose is whether the A350-1000 is the right plane for the airline. Well you see the airline has leased its schedule to expire next year for majority of their 747s. So it goes without saying that they'll want to consider replacing their entire fleet or at least majority of it. The order for the 6 1000s is valued at 4 billion dollars and it will include 8 firm orders and 4 due to be leased with air lease cooperation with an option for one more. It's not quite clear as to when the deliveries for the planes will commence but it's expected that the planes will begin next year and the leased planes will come in one year later. Now we know that the 747 has played as a workhorse for the airline for many years, flying to various places in the US. But the unfortunate reality is, is that the 747 in this modern age has become such a fuel guzzler. So it's not really economical to operate the plane while fighting with the possibility of trying to fill every seat. Now although they haven't confirmed the configuration of the new planes, it's more likely that they will split the plane into two different configurations. One subfleet seating of around 300 passengers with a heavy cabin for Heathrow business routes and one high density configuration closer to 370 passengers for Gatwick and Manchester leisure routes. So by replacing the aging 747s and the A34600s, the airline will have a mixture of three types of planes. The A330 and the 787s would cover up to 265 up to 300 seats. And with the A350-1000, they should cover around 370 seats, while only operating two variants assuming that the 787-9 replaces the A330 in the long run. Now this poses the question as to why they didn't choose the 777X or the A380. Well, the 777X is far too big of a plane with unnecessary range required by the airline. It's also an issue of availability for the plane. The 1000 appears to offer the right combination of availability and fuel efficiency. And we can assume that the airline got a hefty discount from Airbus considering that half of their fleet consists of Airbus planes. Now in terms of the A380, the plane is way too big and it limits the markets that they can operate the plane with. Considering that they ordered the plane way back in 2001, times have changed considerably since then and needs and wants in the market have shifted making the plane redundant in the eyes of the airline. So overall you can sense that things are changing a lot over at Virgin Atlantic. They're still marching ahead with their hippie theme trying to attract young travellers and I have to say it's working quite well for them. Their future plans for expansion will be helped by the arrival of more fuel efficient planes which will hopefully increase their profits. Now although the 777X may have suited the airline's needs to an extent, the winner at the end of the day is the Airbus A350-1000. Now I know a lot of Boeing fans will be upset by this but don't worry guys it's all good in the hood at the end of the day. So captains, that's all there is for me at this moment in time. Leave your thoughts in the comments below and consider liking and subscribing for more aviation videos. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.